Hi, I'm Eric Elango, and I want to show you how to register a client using the Mizuno system. To do this, we just have to click client and then register client at the top left of the dashboard. This takes us to the create client page where we decide whether we want to register a client as an individual or in an existing group. As an individual, we just have to select the branch name, then select I'm just going to select a different branch and then select the loan officer in charge. But to register a client or add a client to an existing group, we have to select the group name. The system pre-selects the loan officer and then we select the client role and click next. This takes us to the client information page where we have to capture all the key information about the client. I'm just going to fill in all the information required. But what noticing is the fact that some fields have asterisks. They are mandatory fields and must be filled in. The phone number field is under an automatic validation. So if I impute any phone number with less than 10 digits, you would see that error message that has just been displayed. I've just made it 10, so that's why we, we see it. We don't see it anymore. Let's continue to fill in other information. 23 Eindhoven Road will be the address. Our client is obviously female. She's single. Let's say she's in her 30s. I'm just going to go for 1980. Let's say she was born on Valentine's Day. The district is South Holland. Clicking next takes us to the next stop, client identification. Over here, we just need to click add and a drop down is going to appear. So we're going to select the document type, let's say it's a passport. A unique identification will be a passport number. And the description will be, let's call it a Dutch passport. We can add more documents to that, but I won't. Let me just correct this error. And when we are happy with what we've captured so far, we just need to click Add. Now we can see an overview of what we've captured. We can cancel it or add more. Let's click next to move to the next tab. Clicking add takes us to the drop down of client business details. So I'm just going to fill in the information required. Let's call it Boys Club BV. Let's say it's a shopkeeper business. I just go right ahead to fill in the business start date. Now the address, say it's in Amsterdam. City will be Amsterdam. And Amsterdam, it's in the Netherlands, and I'm just gonna fill in the postal code. When we're happy with this, we just have to click add and we'll see an overview of what we've captured. We can cancel it or add more. So clicking next takes us to the next tab. We can add like we did previously, and a drop down appears. Let's say the name of the next of king is Elodie Kate. Let's also assume she was born in 1990. I'd like to stick with February. Sorry about that. Let's see, 456 four, Helmon will be the address. And obviously, it's in Helmon. Let me just draw your attention to the fact that it's also possible to customize these drop downs. So there is a great deal of simplicity and flexibility in the Musini system. So I'll just capture all the information required and click Add. When we click Next, it takes us to the overview page where we see the general information that we've captured during the process. When we're happy with it, we just have to click Save. It's worth mentioning that all the processes in the Musini system are being regulated by a maker checker, giving rights to some other user to approve the registration process. Let's look closely to the status of our client. We see that it is pending approval. So if I was a branch manager <clears throat> and I want to approve it, let me just go back to the dashboard. Click in client. I'm going to see all the clients pending approval. So this is Russell Juan over here. I'll go ahead and click view and I'll be taken to Russell's uh, details. This is the point where I click approve to finally approve uh, the registration process. So I'm just going to click Submit. So we can notice that Rachel is not under a client's pending approval.
Let's search for Russia to find out Russia's current status. When I click view, I'll be taken to Russia's details. So if we pay close attention to the status of the client, it is now active, meaning the client can carry out transactions, either savings or loans. Thank you for your kind attention. Hope this exercise was useful.